Okay, we're going to do the same job again. We're going to do it the same way. What I forgot to mention, what I overlooked, we do have some control. We have, as usual, we've got the original type, but we've left it on default. That was all right. It's in the notes, text, photo, default. These are all left as is. I think auto paper selection was okay because we selected our original size. So we have to reset set the sucker up again because it's defaulted so so it's all okay there. Just go back to original size. And I'm having to do a form overlay, which I've never done on this particular one, but I've done it before. I had these similar things at Sydney Uni, but won't get too much into it because I don't have much room on this silly hard drive on this phone. So the density remains at default because it worked really well. <sighs> Original image, what the ding is this? Let's have a look at that. The best, oh, of course, it's like a shortcut. I've already got that in the front. Okay. Select that, okay. Layout edit, this is what we want to do. So copy one, we, we're just going to do the same like we did with copy one, except basically we've got to now set this up for form overlay. So we're going to try and see, we'll write that down. So what we want to do is take the image that's on the glass, we won't worry about taking it off, and we want to take the first copy, which is on the glass, overlay contents, the first page. So what we have to do now is I've never done it. I've done this years ago on another one that used to be at Sydney Uni before the ones I mentioned earlier. So can scan the new form. And this is obviously how heavy it's going to be. So 10% density. So try to work out. So we might call it because basically what we're going to do is try and put these Japanese characters as underneath what we have on the glass and Japanese is of course a synonymous with copiers so it really rocks with me so I'll try I think we'll try I don't know whether to make it a hundred percent or fifty percent I'll stick it at fifty and go okay so again we're gonna preview the sucker what it looks like a layout hang on it doesn't say it show it here pausing scanner oh scan originals overlap the form place the originals uh, press the start key dear me never done. this is see you're not into copiers mate you're, gonna be, you're not going to enjoy this whatsoever I haven't even noted it down in my notes either so executing print job pausing okay take off the glass I'll have to drop my notes, clumsy as putts. <laughs> okay, Luigi, you like that? Clumsy as putts. Okay. So, just going to place our original a bit further from the edge. We're not using image shift. I mean, it's probably not compatible with this node. And we're going to see what happens then. Press the original, list the originals. And. Right. So, now we have to do press the start key. It's probably a bit like the biz hub, C280. But this is hmm, different. So so then you go press the start key to start printing and there you go, it shows the overlay. There we are. Look at that. Isn't this better? This, this, see with the biz hub you don't have this facility. I mean, with colour it would be really cool. So now we're going to proceed to output our job. And it looks like we've got a really good success here. I'm really happy with that so far from what I've seen. But the proof is when it hits the paper. So there we have it. In fact, that looks very good. That is beautiful, actually. So I was sort of thinking, I think the hands should be more obvious, but then look at that. So this is a piece of um, um, rubbish I found on the ground, and it was just an inkjet print um, of some beautiful, of some Japanese characters. Someone printed out. Hopefully, there's no copyright rules. I just got binged for a so a co an accidental copyright infringement on YouTube and I'm very disgusted with myself Luigi so I've got to be careful but anyway these are just something I found and someone's been this is Japanese 
Now someone's been teaching themselves Japanese. So basically, there we have it. Isn't that beautiful, hey?